We have partnered with a world-renowned RF designer. They have looked at our network, they have looked at what's the most efficient placement and the best location for these towers. The design that we have is so solid. Being able to place your network where you have designed your network means that the customer will have faster data, the customer will communicate better, which is ultimately what the goal should be. We are ready. Turn us on. The FNM leader says the PLP ripped off his vision. What local PR firms think of government's decision to hire a Canadian firm for a stronger Bahamas, carnival artists still not paid, plus a man murdered on Peach Street. We've got those stories and a whole lot more tonight. I'm wanting to end and we 12 starts now. Having news tonight, nearly a week after the Christie administration launched its Stronger Bahamas initiative, Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minnis says government ripped off the FNM's new Bahamas vision, which he introduced over a year ago and called it Stronger Bahamas. Minnis says it's clear the PLP government does not have any original ideas and added its decision to hire a Canadian firm to manage Stronger Bahamas proves the party does not believe in Bahamians. PLP cannot come up with any genuine ideas of their own. They took from us New Bahamas and called it Strong Bahamas. Charging that the Christie administration should be embarrassed, opposition leader Dr. Hubert Menes called government's Stronger Bahamas initiative a ripoff of the New Bahamas plan he foreshadowed back in 2013. He slammed the government over what he called a shameless propaganda effort to distract from the PLP's many failures while in office. Stronger Bahamas is a PLP propaganda, but I'm happy that the Prime Minister has embraced the concept of the FNM and the concept that I put forth over a year ago when we talked with the vision at New Bahamas. In that New Bahamas, we spoke about equality. We spoke about gender equality. We spoke about ownership. We spoke about harmony in the workplace, the unions, the people, the employers. We spoke about opportunities for young people. We spoke about communication between the young people and the politicians, the government, so we know exactly what they want, what they expect to see in the, young, in the New Bahamas. The Christie administration claims Stronger Bahamas is a multifaceted public relations initiative by the government, which seeks to engage Bahamians on the work being done to combat the country's biggest challenges. The website went live during Prime Minister Perry Christie's budget communication last week. However, Minnis says it is strikingly similar to his vision, which he outlined in several articles published in local newspapers. So that's what we spoke about in New Bahamas, and we're writing now, I'm now putting an article together about agreeing Bahamas. So this was our vision moving forward. Now Christie has embraced our concept and called it Strong Bahamas. Because you notice he also, we spoke about tax-free zone. He's watered it down, and what he's called it, that allow duty-free concessions for homes in depressed areas, um, small repair homes, etc. However, the FNM leader asserted Believe in Bahamians was nothing more than a catchy campaign, considering government hired Canadian firm Fleischman Hillard to manage Stronger Bahamas. I think that is a complete insult to the Bahamian populace. But Chrissy Dawes has been insulting the Bahamian populace repeatedly. From they came in office, they were being re insulting the Bahamian populace. Bahamians can do that work. Why would you give it to a foreign entity when so many people here are looking for jobs? PLP Chairman Bradley Roberts fired back at Minnis today, telling NB12, it is shocking that the FNM cannot support the vision for the Bahamas to work together for a safe, prosperous, and modern future. The FNM is strongly condemned for attempting to derail this national initiative by seeking to cast a wedge between Bahamians of goodwill, all for petty partisan political reasons. This is disgraceful. 
However, Menace insisted the PLP is clearly in election mode. I see this as a launch of a PLP election campaign, and what they're doing is using the taxpayers' money. The government has BIS, and the government has ZNS. What should they have not been used to launch a government product? Meantime, local multimedia company Movi Group has confirmed it was contracted to produce the video ads for Stronger Bahamas. This as the government comes under fire for hiring a foreign company to do most of the public relations work for that new initiative. Our Kyle Joaquin spoke with the head of a top PR firm who says a Bahamian company could have easily done that work. Diane Phillips is a well-known publicist here in the Bahamas who has many years of experience in the industry. We caught up with her today to ask her feelings on Stronger Bahamas and the government's decision to bring in a foreign company to handle the bulk of the communications work. She said while she doesn't have a problem with foreign companies coming into the Bahamas to do work, her company for one could have handled that workload. State Minister for Finance Michael Elkidis confirmed on Monday that Canadian company Fleshman Hillard has been hired to do the communications work for Stronger Bahamas. While he could not say how much the company is being paid, he said the company was chosen because of its expertise and particular experience. But after winning the 2012 general election with the slogan Believe in Bahamans, some like Long Island MP Loretta Butler Turner have questioned how a foreign company could be hired to do work Bahamans can do. Diane Phillips & Associates is a well-decorated public relations firm with two Addy Awards and the only PR firm in the country to have attained a Golden Bell Award. Phillips said while she knows international experience is one thing that was probably considered, her firm has its fair share. We, we often do. We've done work with IATA uh, for the airline industry. We have a contract right now, in fact, with the um, Pet Food Institute, which is based in Washington, D.C., and they wanted to get messages out about pet wellness and pet health throughout the Caribbean, and we won that contract. So I, th I think there's some folks around here who are capable of doing some international work. In addition, her firm has worked in partnerships that saw her company produce work for big international names like American Express. Phillips says her company understands the Bahamas' culture and she's sure they know how to deliver a message. She also touched on her concerns surrounding Stronger Bahamas. But I don't want to say that it should only be Bahamians. I have no objection to working with other people and I'm sure some of the other agencies on the island feel the same way. I really have a greater concern about the message that's being delivered. Do also have a concern about the use of public funds if it's a political campaign and not just something to bring the country together. In all, though, Phillips says she welcomes foreign companies doing work in the Bahamas just as much as she welcomes Bahamians doing work internationally. So let's take a deeper look at the company hired to do this work. Fleshman Hillard is a global company with offices in Canada, Chicago, Miami, and Washington, D.C. Under the company's reputation management page, the company's experts are said to have the ability to do things like develop strategies to rebuild and sustain public trust during unprecedented economic challenges. And in promising good reputation management, the company says, we know that no matter what you say about your business, your reputation depends on what others say about you. By building a well-managed communications program based on reputation, you can protect against risks, prevent crisis, and build a reserve of trust among key audiences. According to PR Newswire, American communications firm Allen & Company, which was acquired by Fleshman Hillard, has handled some 200 campaigns for U.S. Senators, as well as the Progressive Liberal Party of the Bahamas. While some have criticized the government for hiring a foreign company to handle the PR for Stronger Bahamas, local company The Moby Group was also contracted to do the video ads along with Fleshman Hillard. We contacted Burden Wallace of The Moby Group. He said, I can confirm that we were contracted to do the video work for Stronger Bahamas. But for me to go any further would bring into question the integrity of our relationship with our clients. In the 2015-2016 budget, the government has allocated $3.8 million under the office of the Prime Minister for advertisement and media supplements. Phillips says while some may be upset over the hiring of a foreign company, she believes it's not too late to get a Bahamian company on board. I, I would be happy to work with another company, but I would want the view, it wouldn't just be me, I'm talking about other agencies as well. There are good agencies in Grand Bahama, there are good agencies in Nassau, and I would want whatever company it is to respect the views of the agencies here that understand the culture. I don't think I'm speaking just for myself. Reporting for NB12, I'm Kyle Joaquin. So remember when winners of the Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival Music Masters Competition received those supersized checks during last month's mega concert?
Well, nearly one month after the curtains closed on the inaugural Bahamas Junkunu Carnival, several Bahamian artists who performed over the weekend of events have yet to be paid. Among them are the winners of the Music Masters competition. They declined interviews but voiced their frustration on Facebook. Erica Lady E. Simonet, who won $12,000 as a result of her second place finish, wrote on her Facebook page, Can anyone tell me please when I will be able to cash this check? No one at BNFC or government seems to know. Hashtag just asking. Novi Pierre then came on Facebook with this note saying, I'm so tired of the blatant disrespect and disregard. Still waiting to be paid 27 days and counting. She then shared a meme that read, Asking a musician to play for exposure is like asking the venue to serve free drinks to get people in the door. When contacted today, Chairman of the Bahamas National Festival Commission, Paul Major, said the checks are being processed. However, he refused to comment further, adding he is on vacation in the United States. Checks are written. There's a money should be still be paid. Every business has its process, so it's being processed. That's it. Government budgeted $9 million for Carnival. It is still unclear what the economic impact of that event is. Major told Guardian Radio last month the figures would be ready sometime this month. Carnival was held from May 7th through the 9th. The 36-year-old man shot and killed outside his Peach Street home last night has been identified as Vance Frankie Fenelis. Assistant Commissioner of Police Stephen Dean said Fenelis was gunned down just before 10 p.m. The victim was sitting on the wall in front of his residence on Peach Street, along with other males, when he was approached by a lone gunman who shot him multiple times and fled on foot. Um, we do not know the motive for this latest incident. Um, detectives are active on the ground actively investigating this matter. and We are interviewing a number of people, but we are asking the public if they have seen anything, immaterial to how slight it might be, we are asking you to come forward with the information to assist us in this murder. This is the 64th murder for the year. We are asking members of the public, particularly the church, that come with one solution, at least an intervention project. We believe if that we can intervene with these matters, intervene with these young men before. If we start at primary school, high school, before they get off the career belt, we can take them off. We can do some things to intervene, but we have to come with intervention projects. Police were called to another shooting just after midnight. That incident occurred at a home on Butler's way off Carmichael Road. In that case, police say an argument between two men escalated when one of them shot the other in the chest with a handgun. The gunman then fled. The victim was rushed to hospital where he remains in serious condition. Still to come, could Bahamians see an increase in the VAT rate? Find out after this break.